Hello, my name's Stuart Herbert and this is one of a series of short videos I'm recording showing how I use Sublime Text 2 for PHP development and in this video what I want to do is show you a built-in feature of Sublime Text 2 that allows me to jump from file to file and symbol to symbol very quickly, very easily and in front of me what I've got open as a piece of test code that's testing a class called contract and this particular piece of code is testing a method called contract ensures and I want to be able to jump to that piece of code and see what that ensures method does there are several different ways to do it I'm going to show you how to do it using the built-in go to anything pane now the easy way to do it is control P, go to anything. Let's find the file first of all. Contract.php. Let's find which file we want. And it's this one down here. And I want to go to a symbol called ensures. So by putting the at symbol after the file name and then the name of the method I want in the background, it's already jumped to what I want just like that. So quick, so easy. And if I hit return, it opens the file properly. I'll put the mouse over. You can see it's loaded the file I wanted and it's gone straight to the symbol that I want. So quick and so easy to do. Now if I want to have a look around inside this file, Control R brings up a pane that shows me all the symbols that are defined inside this file in the order they're defined in which personally I'm a big fan of so they're not sorted by a alphabetical they're listed exactly in the order they're defined in the file which allows me to jump around very quickly inside the file and I can do exactly the same by hitting control P to bring up the anything pane stick an at at the front and it limits the scope of the search to the contents of the current file and its symbols. That is how to jump around from file to file or from the command line using the go to anything pane. It allows you to go straight to a symbol. If you're used to a more mouse oriented environment like NetBeans it can take a while to get used to doing this all the time but once it becomes second nature it makes it really quick to work even on a very large code base. I hope you find this demonstration useful. Thank you for watching.